Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. There's been three earthquakes within the last 24 hours in Tunisek, Washington. This is an area that is um, low seismicity compared to other parts like western Washington. But it's not entirely free from earthquakes. The area sits east of the Cascadia subduction zone, which is the dominant fault system of the Pacific Northwest, capable of producing a massive quake of up to 9.0. Tanisak is far enough inland that its primary concerns are smaller. Um, yeah, and there's no local faults in this system that have been registered. The most recent earthquake was a magnitude 3.2. At 4.01 a.m., 20 people said that they felt it, and USGS gave it an intensity level of 4, which means it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up while well, it was early. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles would have been rocking noticeably. Here's the felt reports, and interestingly, there's one way over to the west intensity level two they might be on um area where uh, there's a lot of sediment so maybe that's why um yeah they felt it stronger there and we'll just look through these i don't have any names last night at 8 11 p.m local time there was a magnitude 2.6 and interestingly they did have seven reports it was given an intensity level of 5. So what kind of damage did you have from that earthquake? I felt by most people some breakage of dishes. Things fell off the walls or counters. Windows and plaster uh, cracked more than likely. Disturbance of tall objects. Uh, to them that sent in report was probably a magnitude 3.5 to a 4 that they said it felt like. So this earthquake here was definitely downgraded. Let's see, we got here the felt reports, um, intensity two, intensity two, intensity two. Why did they, that one's three. Why did they say it was five? Maybe because of the lack of reports, but the reports that did come in said they had breakage. Here's some of the reports that were sent into Volcano Discovery. Heard a boom and felt a vibration, weak shaking. Uh, there have been about four quakes tonight since 8 p.m., very weak shaking. But the time here was almost 2 p.m., not almost 7 p.m. They must have felt a different one. Uh, very weak shaking. Boom and vibration, weak shaking. Loud rumbling, weak shaking. The first earthquake of this sequence was yesterday. At um, 6.46 p.m. local time, a magnitude 3.1. 50 people said they felt that earthquake. Now, that one was felt over a very wide area, all the way down by Seattle, um, Tacoma, Washington, and we got one here south. I don't know if they'll give, no, no name. Okay, if I can find something here. No, okay, and then across the border. Yeah, did you feel any of these earthquakes? Yeah, really active. No major active faults are directly mapped under Tunisket itself, but the region has experienced minor seismic activity. Um, data indicates that 8,674 quakes within 150 kilometer radius since 1950, mostly being below a magnitude uh, 2.3. The strongest recorded earthquake near Tunisac was a magnitude 4.6 event 50 kilometers south about 27 years ago. Uh, the area saw 23 quakes above a magnitude 0 0.1 below the annual average. These are typically too weak to cause damage and people don't feel them either. I know most people there don't even think anything about the earthquakes unless they're a magnitude 3.5 or greater. Now this here is the map about the quiet earthquakes. And we got down here, I believe, by Redding. 
and then up here by Washington where all those earthquakes have been occurring. Yeah, look at them all. Um, I don't know if they give me a total of 118. Now that was on the 11th. They're always behind. Let me see if I can update it. Yeah, it wouldn't let me update. I'll, I'll show you here if you want to look. And I'll give you a link to this. Um, so if you want to explore it yourself more. So yeah, see, it doesn't, the 12th, it doesn't update. Yeah, and um, today, which is the 13th, still nothing updated. Anyways, that's all I have for you. If you have any thoughts or comments, or if you did feel them, please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.